We've now had basically a week to digest that surprise news by OPEC Plus Nations about the production cut. I know initially you had some skepticism on everybody who very quickly became bullish on the oil story again. Um, how do you feel about it now? Well, basically the same way. The, yes, the market has changed a lot. Uh, the market has changed from uh, a point of massive oversupply in our judgment to one of market tightness, but still where the where the uh, where the risks are in our judgment to the downside rather than the upside. Uh, and that's true both because of more supply coming into the market, even with these OPEC cuts than we had anybody had recognized. And demand is really being crippled by prospects of an economic slowdown and recession. And U.S. demand has not really grown. Production has grown. And all of that has moved into the export pool, taking away market share from other countries. If we are indeed talking about the R word and recession, potentially by the end of the year, something that the bond market, for example, is pricing in when it comes to Fed cuts, what kind of price target are we looking at for Brent? Well, we're not looking at anything in the in the 40s or 50s for Brent, and that's because the circumstances are very different from what they were when we had these price collapses in the past, 2000, uh, 2008, uh, and even 2020. In all of those earlier periods of a price crash, we had inventories that had accumulated to very high, if not record levels. Today, when we look at inventories, product inventories are at or below where the level is in the last five years at the lowest point. And crude inventories really did rise considerably in the first quarter of the year, uh, but that rise was toward the middle of a range, not to something over exuberant. So inventories are not going to be unloaded uh, as prices go down and won't be competing with production. So we won't have really the the underlying causes of a, of a fundamental price crash. But yeah, we think prices could go down uh, much below the preferred OPEC plus price of 80 to 70 and even touch below that. Uh, we think there'll be market mechanisms that work to kind of work in the opposite direction. Yeah. Uh, that includes the U.S. buying of strategic uh, uh, petroleum reserve oil, it includes China accelerating its, its inventory build. We have China with very discretionary inventory build. Sometimes it's as much as 500,000 barrels a day. Sometimes when prices are high, it's lower than that. So prices go down and we have new balancing mechanisms. But certainly we're not going to have an oversupply of inventory. So I'd right. say we might be flirting with the 60s, but not for long.